we're just reaching a bit of a challenging time of day for photographers. Sun is disappearing behind the building, so it's getting a bit dark, but it's creating this lovely sense of light, magic hour, golden hour, some people call it. In this street scene, I've got a lot of depth, I've got these beautiful lamp posts. I'm going to see if I can capture all of that detail in one frame. Now, if I just put my camera and try and survey the scene in front of me, I can see one or two challenges already. My phone doesn't quite know what to expose for. This time of day is both beautiful for photographers and also quite challenging because we're losing some of the obvious light and instead we get this evening glow, magic hour, golden hour, whatever you choose to call it. On this scene here, you can see the sun is just disappearing behind those buildings and it actually poses a little bit of a problem for the camera. You can see it's already trying to adjust for the right exposure to get as many details in as possible. First thing I'm going to try to do from a composition point of view is just punch in, use the two times zoom and now you can see these two lamp posts are really framing the scene quite nicely. The other effect though that a zoom lens can do on, on most cameras is, is compress, the, compress the scene the people there, all the subjects there, somehow feel closer together. And it's a great way of zooming in of making a scene look busier than it actually is. That looks quite empty, but pushed in, things somehow just look even busier. Now my camera, like I say, is struggling with the exposure. Now, many phones have got a pro mode or an expert mode. I don't need to go to that level of detail for this shot, but I just say, need to give a bit of a helping hand. And so just by tapping and holding, not only does it lock the focus and lock the exposure, but it lets me just make some minor adjustments to it. You don't, on this phone, you don't actually need to tap at the point at which you're locking. You can move your thumb around elsewhere on the screen, which is quite handy if you want to really see the impact that your adjustments are having on the frame. So that is looking kind of nice. I've, I've underexposed a little bit from what the phone was wanting because I'm more interested in the light behind this this banner than the details on the subject that the phone might be trying to adjust for. Just see what happens if I go a bit lower down. Almost blurring out the faces in a way, not, not really blurring them out, but just losing the detail on them. And really just giving me an opportunity to celebrate the sky. And while I don't think this is gonna work, if I start pushing the exposure all the way up, I mean, it's, it's worth experimenting with, but that just doesn't look pleasant. My eyes feel a bit offended by that, I think. That there's probably where the phone would go automatically, which is meh. You know, I've got a bit of the foreground, a bit of the background, but just by nudging it down, like I say, no need for the pro mode, all of a sudden get those details in the cloud. That is, I think, the one that's gonna work out the best. So I'm getting a sense, it's almost, almost a half silhouette of the scene, but really celebrating the magnificence of the clouds and the sun peeking through behind. Okay, a few options there. Let's see what came out. This is the shot that you get if you let the camera make all the decisions for you. It's got a bit of the foreground, it's got a bit of the background, but not really anything of interest in, in either. The, the sky, which for me was what I was trying to capture, just is a bit, a bit flat. All of the, the detail has been lost. It's just kind of been squashed into this white yellow color and the, and the lines that I can see with my eyes just haven't made it onto the onto the camera here so nice try by the phone but not quite right this was the shot that I took when I artificially pushed the exposure all the way to the top and it's good to experiment this experiment didn't quite work however the sky is pretty much all one color there it's all been squashed into this mono block of white and while I've got some detail in the foreground it's not particularly interesting and certainly not capturing the mood that I wanted hello this is much more what I was after and I look at this first of all and I can I can feel a mood I can feel a sense of drama and for me that's being created by a couple of things first of all the sky and the light by bringing the exposure manually down, what we've been able to do is to get much more detail in the sky. I don't think we've lost any of the, of the shade, any of the detail on those clouds. Now that does mean that we've created this kind of silhouette effect in the foreground and we've lost 
really lost the faces on the, of the people, but that creates a little bit of a sense of mystery. So for those reasons, especially the sky, that's why this is my favourite of the frames I've taken. Mm -hmm.